Shalom, shalom to all my relatives and friends, and shalom, shalom to all the sisters and brothers in Messiah. So today, I just want to take this opportunity to continue talking about New Yerushalayim. It's been a while since I've made a message because I've been busy um, doing other things. And so, yeah, it's going to be the second part a new Jerusalem. So before I start um, speaking the message, I just want to take the time to say a prayer to Yahuwah. So Almighty and Eternal Habba Father, in Yeshua Mashiach name, I'll just come before your throne of grace, asking you to be with me as I speak your words, O Yahuwah. May everything that comes out of my mouth be um, for your glorification. I just thank you for all that you're doing for me and my family and for the 12 tribes of Israel that is all over the earth. Um, blessing and power and strength and might and wisdom be unto you, O Yahweh Sabahot. Hallelujah. So, um, yes, New Yerushalayim. So New Yerushalayim is the subject that I want to talk about. Yeah, the continuation. Um, so New Yerushalayim will express Yahuwah fully for eternity. Express Yahuwah's um, glory. New Yerushalayim as the glory and the embodiment of Elohim. The exact image of of the creator this is what new Jerusalem is about the city the people the ecclesia the bride new Jerusalem. um so new Jerusalem is called yahuwah our righteousness new Jerusalem is called the city um, not forsaken, Ariel, New Jerusalem is also called um, the city of Elohim, city of Judah, and city of righteousness, the city of truth, and the solemnity of the king, Yahuwah Elohim. New Jerusalem is called the faithful city so that is what i will be talking about in this um short second part message so um this message i want to start in <clears throat> i have some notes here so i'll start at zechariah i've already read zechariah 8 so i'll just continue with Zechariah chapter 9. So in Zechariah chapter 9, that is, you know, telling us about New Jerusalem, it says, Zechariah chapter 9, from verse 8 to 17. Yahweh says, I will encamp around my house because of the harmony and because of him that passes by and because of him that returns and and no oppressor shall pass through um, them anymore <clears throat> for now i have seen with my eyes says yahweh so rejoice greatly o daughter of zion shout o daughter of jerusalem Behold, your king comes unto you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass, upon a donkey. Um, yes, upon a donkey. Yahweh says in Zechariah 9, verse 10, I will cut off the chariot from the tribe of Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem and the battle bull shall be cut off and he shall speak peace unto the heathen and his dominion shall be speaking about Yeshua's Yeshua's dominion shall be from sea to sea <clears throat> and from the river even to the ends of the earth as for you also, by the blood of the covenant, I have set forth your prisoners out of the pit 
wherein there is no water. Turn you, return you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today, I declare, says Yahuwah, that I will render double unto you. When I ban the tribe of Judah, fill the bow with the tribe of Ephraim, and raise up your son, so Zion, against your son, O Greece and made you as the sword of a mighty man, and Yahuwah shall be seen over them, and his arrow shall go forth as lightning, and Yahuwah shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with whirlwind to the south. So this is talking about um, New Jerusalem, the ecclesia, the bride, the call out, ones because this is what this message is about it's a continuation of the first part this is the second part Yahweh shall uh, shall defend them and they shall devour and subdue with sling, sling stone and they shall drink and make noise as though with wine as though they're drunk with wine and shall and they shall be filled like bowls and as the corners of the altar. And Yahweh, their Elohim, shall save us in the day as the flock of his people. And they shall be as the stones of a crown, lift up as an ensign upon his land. For not for... How great is his goodness and how great is his beauty. Corn shall make the young men cheerful and wine shall make the maidens cheerful. So this is um, Zephaniah chapter 9. And now speaking about New Jerusalem, I will read Galatians 4 from verse um, 21 to 30 galatians 4 from 21 to 30. so in galatians 4 from 21 to 30 it says tell me you that desire to be under the law do you not hear the law for it is written abraham had two sons the one by a bondmaid and the, and the other by a free woman. But he who was by the bondwoman was born after the flesh, but he who was of the free woman by the promise, which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants, the one from Mount Sinai, which gendered to bondage, which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and answers to Jerusalem, which is now and is in bondage with her children. But Jerusalem, which is from above, is free. Hallelujah. For the mother, Yerushalayim, that is from above, that is a free woman, <clears throat> is free and she is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice thou barren, and who bears not, break forth and cry, you who travail not. For the desolate has many more children than she that has a husband. Now, now we brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. But then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit. Even so it is now. Nevertheless, says the scripture, cast out the bond woman and her son, 
for the son of the bond woman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. The free woman is Jerusalem from above, which is um, which is the mother to us all. So this is what uh, um, this message is about. It's about new, renewed, and the modern Jerusalem. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bond woman, but we are the children from the free woman, New Jerusalem, the mother that is from above. So that's uh, now I will read this other scripture that tells us about New Jerusalem, and it is. Um, <coughs> Ezekiel. So Ezekiel um, from Ezekiel 16 from verse um, 23 says, and it's telling us about New Jerusalem, which is what my uh, message is about today. Ezekiel 16. And it came to pass, let me just make sure that I am at the right spot. Ezekiel 16, it's a really long chapter, from verse um, 3, from verse 3 to 23. That's what I'm going to be reading. And say, thus says Yahuwah unto Jerusalem, your birth and your nativity is of the land of Canaan. Your father was an Amorite and your mother a Hittite. And as for your nativity in the day that you were born, your navel was not caught. Your navel wasn't caught. Neither was you washing water or salted at all. And nobody put any swaddling clothes on Jerusalem. None pity you to do these things for you, to have compassion upon you. But you were cast into the hoping field, to the loathing of your person. In the day when you were born, you were despised, O Jerusalem. And Yahweh said, I passed by you, and I saw you polluted in your blood. And I said unto you, when you were in your blood, live. Yes, I said, live in your blood. And I have caused you to multiply as the buds of the field, and you have increased and waxed great, O Jerusalem, and you have come into excellent ornaments. Your breasts are fashioned and your hair is grown, whereas you were before naked and bare. Now when I pass by you, I look upon you, and behold, Yahweh says, your, it was the time, your time for love. So I spread my skirt over you and covered you and covered your nakedness. And I swore unto you and I entered into a covenant with you, says Elohim, um, and you became mine. So um, this is Ezekiel 16, which is telling us about Jerusalem. Then I wash you with water. Yes, I thoroughly wash your blood from you. And I anointed you with oil. I clothed you also with embroidered work and shod you with badger skin and girded you about with fine linen. I covered you with silk. So Yahweh Elohim, now we're Eternal Father did all of these wonderful things for Jerusalem. I deck you also with ornaments and put bracelet upon your hand and a chain on your neck. And I put a jewel in on your forehead and earring in your hair and a beautiful crown upon your head. Thus you were decked with gold and silver and your raiment was a fine linen and silk and embroidered work. Thou did eat fine flour and honey and oil, and you were exceedingly beautiful, and you did prosper into a kingdom, New Jerusalem, and your renown went forth among the heathen because of your beauty. 
for it was perfect through my comeliness. Through Yahuwah's servanthood, righteousness, and beauty, Yerushalayim was beautiful which I had, Yahweh says, I put my calmliness upon you and yeah, made you beautiful, but you did trust in your own beauty and you played the harlot. Yahweh is telling us about the history of Yerushalayim, the, um, the, the, the mother or the old one and about the renewed one. So this is a, a part of the history. <clears throat> But you did trust in your own beauty and play the harlot because of your renown and pour out your fornication and everyone that passes by. And your garment, you did take and deck your eye places with diverse color. And you play the harlot thereon like the, the light things that should never, never happen, neither should it have been so, says Yahuwah Elohim. You, you has also taken your fine jewelry of my gold and my silver, which I had given unto you, and made of yourself images of men, and did commit wardom with them, and took my embroidered garment so this is the history of um the old Yerushalayim and we're talking about the new Yerushalayim but this is all a part of the history so in Ezekiel 16 verse 18 it says you took the embroidered garment and covered them and you have set my oil and my incense before um before your the ones that um, Jerusalem was doing fornication with <clears throat> my meat also which I gave you fine flour and oil and honey wherein I fed you you have even set it before them for a sweet savor thus says Yahuwah Elohim moreover thou hast taken your sons and your daughters that you bore unto me and has sacrificed them to be devoured so this is all um the <laughs> the history of um the old Yerushalayim and now we're talking about new renewed Jerusalem that is the mother that is free from above but this is a part of Yerushalayim history <laughs> when she was playing the harlot and doing spiritual harlotry and fornication against Yahuwah Elohim. Moreover, you have taken, yes, your sons and your daughter, that you have slain my children and delivered them, uh, delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for harlotry. And in all your abomination and your whoredom, you was you have not remembered the day of your youth when you was naked and bare and polluted in your blood. And it came to pass after all these wickedness, Yerushalayim, that you have also built upon you an eminent place and has you um set your your places in high places so this is the history of Yerushalayim and how she, um she did commit harlotry against Yahuwah but um Yahuwah in his mercy has um <clears throat> sent Yeshua to die for us so we could be redeemed. So Yah went into a covenant with Yerushalayim, and then when she played the harlot, um, he walked contrary to her because of those fornication and orlatry. But then Yahweh forgives the daughter of Yerushalayim and renewed the covenant. So this um this part that I'm gonna be reading, it's going to be about um yeah, oh Yahuwah forget forgave Yerushalayim 
through the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, salvation, deliverance, and atonement. So this is going to be Ezekiel, same chapter 16, and I'm going to read from verse 60 to 63. <clears throat> Um, so Yahweh says, nevertheless, nevertheless, Yahweh says, I forgive, I forgive the daughter of Jerusalem. I will remember the, my covenant with you in the day of your youth, and I will establish unto you an everlasting covenant. So thank Yahweh for the everlasting covenant. We have the everlasting covenant and the renewed covenant in the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. And we have the everlasting covenant of Shalom, Shalom from Yeshua. So I'm going to enter into an everlasting covenant. Then you shall remember your ways and be ashamed when you shall receive your sister, thy elder and thy younger, and I will give them unto you for daughters, but not by your covenant. And I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah Sobachot. I am Yahuwah, and that, that you may remember and be confounded, and never open your mouth any more because of your shame when I am pacified towards you for all that you have done to make me angry. So that is about Yahweh Elohim um, remembering to renew the covenant and um, forgiving Yerushalayim for all the harlotry and adultery that she committed against Yahuwah. So this is a part of the history of Yerushalayim. And I'm talking about the renewed Yerushalayim, the people, the ecclesia of Yahuwah, the bride. And oh, Yahuwah has remembered the covenant and has forgiven. So I, yeah, so this one is part two and i will still be doing a few more parts um to this subject a little more a little bit more in depth i just wanted to talk about this second part um it, um in this video so i thank you thank you for listening to me and um, have a wonderful day. Um, shalom, shalom to everyone. Remember to like and subscribe and share my videos. Shalom, shalom.